is she meditating? She must be meditating, but she's also hovering. Wait, what? <laughs> Why, where did I come from? Where am I? What is this nonsense? Why are you here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Tomorrow it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Okay, fortune teller. Spirits are very happy. Okay, we are mining today. Uh, and we learned how to make a monkey roll. Very good start. <laughs> oh, we got mail. What, what's up? Oh, another pepper popper. You know what? That's actually really going to help. I'm going to eat that immediately. Oh, and we've got uh, our first oranges. Our oranges have grown. That's pretty great. So the pepper poppers will help us get higher quality uh, crops right now and increase our speed so that we can go around and get out of these really quickly. Um, so the goal for today, uh, once I've taken care of the animals, uh, obviously I need to get my pickaxe back from Clint before I do anything else. Oh, look at how fast we go, it's so great. Um, this orange, I think I'm actually going to sell this orange, uh, just because we haven't sold one yet. The rest I'll keep for, um, for Gus. I'm going to sell my higher quality coffee beans. Okay, so all of the hops go in here, as well as the coffee beans. Um, do I pickle anything? I don't think I do. Okay, now let's go take care of the animals real quick. Uh, but before we do, I am not going to need uh, that. That or that. Okay. Uh, everything else, let's... Oh, wait, no, I'm going to obviously need room for my pickaxe. A doy. All right, so first of all, chickens are going to be the easiest, so let's go through here. Oh, man, I love this speed boost. So good. Block, block, block. There we go. All loved up. Uh, okay, so our chickens will eventually produce eggs, which is going to be great. Got some cheese. I'll sell both of those. Uh, whoops, I want that milk pail. Thank you very much. Let's milk our cows. And, of course, pet them. And then milk. I missed the udder, apparently. Maybe you should try the other one. Ho ho! Hilarious. Alright, put that back and sell this cheese. Open up the door so that they can come in and have a fantastic day outside. Because it's a good day. I'm feeling in a very good mood, apparently. Sell those cheeses. Alright, so. Uh, it's no one's birthday today. I don't think I'm going to take it. Oh, I'll tell you what I do want to take with me, though. I want to take with me something to increase my... Uh, or I need to eat something to... Hmm, I don't have anything to increase my energy. I guess I'm gonna have to make some field snacks. Nah. I mean, it's not gonna be amazing, but it's gonna be better than nothing. I don't want don't to use up all of my stuff, though, so I left one acorn. Good job, me, because eventually we are gonna get around to planting my, uh, tree tapper farm, which I want to do. Um, so I want to have, like, like, maybe five or six of each tree and have them tapped so that I can obviously get more oak resin, maple syrup, and pine tar. We don't actually have any pine tar yet. So that's something that... Why am I still eating these? <laughs> oh my goodness, I, and I still ate the last one as well. I'm such a dummy. We had full energy, and I carried on eating those. I'm so stupid. Alright, let's take the... Oh, maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, let's take the maple syrup. Why not? Take the bus into... Well, I was going to say the bus into town, the minecart into town. But... Um, Clint isn't even open yet. He opens at 9, so... Um, okay, let's take a little walk up to the uh, the mines, just so we, we can see if there's any artifact spots. Because that's something which I need to focus on more, is, uh, is artifacts. Because we really need to get that finished. Um, it's going to be the hardest thing in the game, I think, to do. Um, oh, there's one right there. Let's grab that. Prehistoric rib. Oh, that's something we can donate to Gunther. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually going to take the walk up to the mines and see if there's any more artifact spots along the way. Because if there is, like I said, we could grab them. Doesn't look like there's any more. And then we can just take the minecart back down. No, there <laughs> no more artifact spots. Still, we got the prehistoric rib there. Look at that. Exactly 9 o'clock. How do you like me now? Um, town. So let's go give this to Gunther. What else do I want to do today? Oh, it's Sunday, so I should probably go to the um, the traveling sales much. Oh, a new reward. Traveling sales lady. Oh, I think we got the rare crow. Okay, cool. I'll definitely take that another day. Um, yeah, let's go to Cindersap Forest and see the traveling merchant and see what she's got for us. Oh, more artifact spots. What's this? Oh, another lost book. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. Oh, man, there's one specific artifact. Oh, there's another one there that I've never got. And I know that you can get it in the Lost Woods and the Mountains, which is why those are the two areas I always check for artifact spots now. 
Um, periwinkle. I think we need to sell one of those. Uh, horseradish. Cave okay, okay. You know, a sandfish for 300. I think I'm actually going to take that. Yeah, why did I not pick up... Mm, I'm such a dummy. I didn't pick up my pickaxe while I was at the town from Clint. It's now 10 a.m. Um, okay, it's probably quicker just to walk there rather than go to the, the bus stop and take the minecart. So I'm just going to walk back to Clint. And this sandfish you can catch in the desert, which we don't have access to just yet. Uh, but it's pretty common. It's just like the wood skip, really. Just, it's limited to a certain area, um, but it's not that rare. You'll definitely catch it in like one sitting. Unless you're like me and you end up catching loads of catfish instead of wood skip, but oh well. Um, so, yeah, but the fact that we don't have that yet, and the fact that it's 300 means that we can actually complete a bundle with this, so I'm definitely going to take that. Alright, golden pickaxe. And you know what, if I had some iron on me right now, I would definitely upgrade my hoe, but I don't, so I can't, and I won't. Alright, I'm actually going to go to the community center now and finish off this bundle. Oh, we've actually got a quest on here. What we got? Uh, two tuna. I'll accept it. Um, we've got two days to do it. I'm probably not going to manage it. 200 gold as a reward isn't even that great. So if I don't complete it, then no big deal. Now, I can't actually remember what the reward for completing the specialty fish bundle is, but I'm hoping it's something good. Boom, there we go. We haven't even been to the desert, and we've completed the specialty fish bundle. Please be something decent. It's Dish of the Sea. Ooh, actually... That is really going to help when it comes to catching other legendary fish, because it gives you plus three fishing skill. Um, so at the minute, we're level nine, and that will upgrade us to level... What's nine plus three? Twelve. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. Hey, Demetrius, how's it going? All right, so we're starting a little bit late, but with our speed boost here, still active for another... Where are we? Up there. Three minutes... I'm hoping that we can make decent progress in the mines today. I'm hoping we can do 10 levels, and I think that will bring us to the end, potentially. Oh yeah, 110. Yeah, that will bring us to the end. That would be awesome if we can do that. All right, the final 10 levels of the mines. Let's go. Okay, so our pickaxe is going to rip through these stones really nicely. I uh, wouldn't mind having a better sword, but eh, win some, lose some. Am I right? Okay, all these red stones, yeah, we can now break in one hit, which is fantastic. In fact, we can break all the stones in one hit, except for the gold ore. Uh, so really, I'm not even here for gold, because we've got so much gold at the moment. I'm here just to um, uh, just to make the progress in the mines. Oh, wow. Thank you, Bat. Um, I guess if I get in real need of health or energy, I can use the dish of the sea. But ideally, I need to save that for when we actually go fishing. Okay, some geodes there, or a geode, I guess. Uh, any ladder? No, not going to show up. There it is. Oh, missed it. Dang it. Okay, straight in here with some enemies. Oh, uh, this sword is so slow. Okay, wow, we really need some, like, cave carrots or something, or some field snacks, which I can't believe, like, eight. I'm such a dummy. Another glow ring. Oops, missed. Um, yeah, I think actually health is going to be the thing that screws us this time. Oh, just managed to get him there. I didn't think I turned around in time, but... Well, actually, I didn't turn around, but there's another staircase. Wow, our luck is definitely helping us out here. Okay. Keep on trucking. I'm actually going to check that barrel down there for uh, for goodies before I hit that staircase. Ah, oh, there's a ruby. I was hoping it would be food. All right, five levels to go. Ah, <laughs> oh, so... Wow, okay. I was going to say, theoretically, these should be, like, the most difficult levels. Uh, definitely the enemies will be doing more... Oh, cave carrots, fantastic. I'm going to eat these real quick, just to get my health back up, because I took a lot of health at the beginning there. Well, a lot of damage at the beginning. I didn't take a lot of health. Okay, go to our sword. Take out this shadow brute. Yeah, yeah they're doing a lot of damage to me. Um, okay, let's focus on getting goodies. I know the staircase just showed up there. If any enemies come, then yes, we will take it, but... You know, while we're here, we may as well get some gold on a good luck day, so... Okay, here we go. Another Shadow Brute. Or whatever they're called. I call them different things each time. Void Spirit, Shadow Brutes, you know. They've got so many different names. I think the actual name for them... Um, you know what? I'm not even going to say it, because I'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> All I know that in the quests, they're called shadow uh, Void Spirits. So, But then I think that can count as different things, like the Shaman... Um, I think they're a type of void spirit, so I don't want to, like, misquote the game or anything. Run away. 
All right, Clinky. Come at me, bro. There we go. Um, is it worth trying to dig up this ground here? Got a cave carrot. I mean, that's pretty nice. I think because our luck is so high, I am going to try it. Hello, give me give me coal, please. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, because our luck is so high, I'm going to try it. And we are only two levels away, well, technically, only one level away from completing the mines. Because the last level is just a chest, obviously. Um, and I've kind of ruined it for anyone that didn't know that the mines are 120 levels, but at the same time, the majority of people still watching probably already knew that anyway. Okay. Here we go. One more floor to do. And theoretically, this should be the hardest floor. Oh, uh <laughs> <laughs> and the first rock I break open um, gives me the exit. Okay, well, we know about... Oh, oh, I definitely want that. Yeah, we know about where the exit is. Glow ring, I'll get rid of that, because the diamonds are definitely worth getting. Oh, look at that, more diamonds over there. Ow. You know what would suck? Is if we died right now. That really would suck. Okay, just don't die. Um, I'm actually going to take that... Um, that bomb over there, and I'm going to use it. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to use it, because there's like nothing around here. Wow, this floor is actually pretty huge, and these rocks are really spread out. So I'm just going to put it there, and hope that I get something cool from it. Uh, not really. Now let's just kill this rock crab. We may get another bomb. No. Okay, so 5.30pm, and we've completed the mines now. Go away, bat. You know what, I'm even going to pick up this... No, I can't. Because <laughs> I'm running away from a bat. There we go. Alright, and then in this chest we will find... Ba -ba -da -ba. You found the skull key. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Yeah, we finished the mines. Pretty damn cool. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> now I don't know what to do for the rest of the day. Um, skull key. Discover the purpose of the skull key. What if I already know the purpose of the Skull Key? I just can't do anything with it. Robin is right here. Do I have anything for it? No. We've got a crab. Can give her a crab. Oh, I think I'm going to save the crab, because I, I think you might need that for a recipe of some description. So I'm going to save that. Dish of the Sea. Can't believe we've got five of those. Actually, that was definitely worth completing the specialty bundle with 300 gold to get that, because um, when we need to catch more legendary fish, the Dish of the Sea is really going to help. And we are nowhere near ready to craft that yet. Okay, um, what to do for the rest of the day? I guess go back home and sort out my inventory and then figure out what to do from there. I'll probably go to the saloon and see who's there. Oh man, we got so much gold from that trip. Like 45. Um, we, we have way more gold than we know what to do with at this point. Um, those can go in, that can go in, the geode can go in, okay. Um, I'm actually going to put the crab in here. Uh, this is my, obviously, oh, dang it, today I was meant to upgrade my, my house. I completely forgot. Um, oh well. The, this should see that can go in there as well. Actually, I'm going to take the void essence and the solar spirits out. Because they can go into our gift chest. we got a pale ale up there. Um, I guess I could start keeping those for Pam, but for now they actually sell for a decent amount of money. 300 I think it was, which isn't bad for someone that literally sits there and just makes money while you wait. Um, we got three maple syrup. I guess what I could do um, with the maple syrup is make more bee houses. Um, do I want to put more hops in there? I guess so. I mean, it only takes one hop, so you might as well. One hop or one hops. Yeah, let's make some more bee houses, because they're going to make us some pretty fancy honey for the rest of the season. Um, so we need iron bars, coal, wood, and maple syrup. I just want to make sure that I don't use... Oh, I was going to say, I don't want to use too much wood, because we're going to need some for um, bee... Uh, not bee houses, for upgrading our house. And so... But we don't even have enough money to do that. Or, well, not money. Well, yeah, actually, we don't have enough money to do that anyway, but we don't have enough wood to do it either. We need the maple syrup. So, you know what? I may as well just make three bee houses. Okay, and I'm going to put them all in range of our summer spangle here. The, the range on that is actually pretty good for the bee houses, so you don't need to be that close, but 
I just find for now, while we kind of got our temporary setup here, that having them all close quarters is quite good. Um, right, I'm going to leave those there, and I guess uh, probably chop down some trees on my farm, since um, since I've chopped down pretty much the majority of them in the Sap Forest, and they're going to take a while to grow back. Plus, it means that I can get a little bit of my farm cleared out, so I'm going to chop some trees. It's going to be a bit boring, so obviously you guys aren't going to see this. All right, four energy left. It's 11.40. I've chopped down enough trees, I think. <laughs> Time to call today quits and continue on tomorrow. I'm hoping that our blueberries will be ready tomorrow because, um, oh, it's starting, it's starting to get late anyway. Yeah, I'm hoping, oh, 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 I need to, I need to close the, the coop doors and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow the blueberries will be ready because I need a big cash sort of, in, I need more cash basically. Oh yeah, but you can see here that the grass has spread inside our little pen here, which is pretty cool. That's, that's the idea. Um, but yeah, I need a little cash injection. That's what I was looking for. Our gold bars over there have finished, which is great. Good boy. Um, yeah, I need a cash injection, which would be nice, because obviously I need 10,000 gold to upgrade my house. Uh, level 9 farming. Fantastic. We can now make a seed maker, iridium sprinklers, and quality fertilizer. Quality fertilizer is definitely going to be the way forward next season. Um, a bit of money there from the cheese. Cheese is worth 200 each. Not bad, actually. 200 for each cheese. Considering we get, you know, one per cow per day, pretty damn good. Take a swig of my drink. Because mm. you guys need to know that I'm doing that, rather than me staying silent while I while I take a swig of my drink. I need to inform you why I'm going to be silent for the next second or two. Alright, it's going to be another sunny day tomorrow, or today. Tomorrow, however, it's also going to be sunny. <laughs> Fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased, okay. Living off the land. Most towns have a seasonal calendar in front of the general store. It's a good idea to check that every now and then to get a good feel for what's going on in the community. Make sure to check it for any job postings as well. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's someone's birthday today. Um, so, yeah, I definitely want to check that out. There's no point in me running to... Oh, the blueberries are already fantastic. Yeah, there's no point in me running to the orange tree every single day to, to uh, pluck the oranges. Because every single day they, they grow one new fruit, as long as it's in season. Um, and, um, up to a, up to a maximum of three. So, basically, I can, I can just harvest the fruit every three days off the tree, which is going to be what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, get these blueberries, lots of money. Can I pluck those radishes yet? I don't think I can. Uh, obviously, we've got one blueberry plant missing because we planted our ancient seed last episode. Oh, that's going to be so good when that grows. Well, like I said, we're only going to get two harvests out of it this year, but... Um, now that we can make a seed maker, ooh, where is it? Wood, coal, and gold bar. Is that all it takes? That's pretty crazy. Place crops inside to produce varying amounts of seeds. Doesn't work with fruit tree crops. Oh, okay, I didn't, I never thought of trying that, to be fair. Oh, we can pluck our radishes. Very good. There we go. Okay, let's check our animals today. And see how they're diddling. Are our chickens grown up yet? No, they're still little cute baby chickies. Oh, it's so adorable. All right. <laughs> Open up their door. Head in and see the moo cows. We've got some more cheese ready for us, which is fantastic. Let's grab our milk pail. Make sure that we actually pet the other cow. The baby cow. Baby moo moo. All right, grab some more milk. I wonder how these guys are doing in terms of happiness. Half a heart. That's fine. Okay, throw those in there. Oop, don't forget to put our milk pail back. Mustn't forget that now, must we? And they can have fun outside as well, because they much prefer to sit outside. Obviously, in the rain, don't let them out, because they'll be sad. Okay, um, right, what do I want to sell? The radishes, probably. Cheese, definitely. The, 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 the coffee beans. <laughs> I was like, what are these things? Oh yeah, they're coffee beans. Adoy. Okay, get rid of those. Blueberries. Do I... I'm just going to sell them. I'm just going to sell all of them. We have one more, or two more, uh, blueberries grow back every two, uh, four days. So yeah, we've only got one more. Oh no, they will grow on the... Yeah, no, we've only got one more growth of them left. Jesus, Dale. Um, what else are we going to do today? I completely forgot my plan. What was my plan? Um, let the cows out, obviously. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. We need money. Um, spirits are bad. Let's take our geodes, actually, and crack them open. Look at how much gold ore we have. It's crazy. 
Um, you know what? We may as well smelt some stuff. We need more coal. Didn't realize how low we were on coal. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's take these geodes over to Clint and see what he can do with them. Um, and figure out what else we can do for the rest of the day. I really don't know. But hopefully we get some good stuff out of these geodes. Uh, into town, please. We got 20 minutes left before we can go in. Hey, buddy, open up. I want to crack open some geodes. Uh, maybe we do some gifting today. I mean, it's Monday. Um, we Obviously, the gifting resets every Sunday. So we can take around our gold star crops and stuff like that and gift to people. Hey, buddy, uh, process some geodes for me, please. Let's start off with the worst one. That looks like something we've already got. <laughs> the frozen one. That also looks like something we've already got. And then the magma ones, which are supposed to be the best ones. I'm pretty sure we've got some omni geodes as well, which I didn't bring with me because I'm stupid. Yeah, magma geodes are meant to be better than frozen and um, normal geodes. Yeah, we didn't even get anything we can donate other than two fire quartz. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. It could be because of our luck, but I don't know how luck actually affects geodes. So, anything we can... Nope, nothing we can turn in. That's a shame. But it just means we can sell these things, I guess. Alright, back to the farm to sort this out. Uh, to the bus stop, please. And I really need to think of a plan for today, but I don't have one. Alright, sell you, sell you, sell you... Um, all the rest of you can go into here, I guess. You, you see, I could I could upgrade my hoe to iron, but I don't think... Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I did actually put one of my aquamarines... Oh, did I? Wait, did I take the aquamarine into the dye bundle? Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't. No. Okay, so let's quickly grab one of those. We need sea urchin. Okay, let's, let's go to the, 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 the sea. Go to the sea, yeah. Um, we could use our warp totem if we really wanted to. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use it. You know, because I'm not in a hurry. Well, I am in a hurry, but this is how you use a warp totem. Excuse me. I just <laughs> put it on the floor. This is how you use a warp totem. <laughs> All right, and it just zips you away to the, the statue over here. All right, let's see if there's any sea urchins, because I can't remember, but I think sea urchins only appear... In the summer. No, oh, some gold ore from that. Okay. Uh, no, they don't. They appear. They appeared in spring, didn't they? The sea urchins, the purple ones. Excuse me. There we go. Some more clay. Ugh. Clay is like one of the most useless things in the game. I think. You can really only make. Um, wow. Yeah. This was a bad use of a sea, uh, warp totem. You can really only make um, the silos with clay, and you only really need one or two. So I don't understand why they added that in the game if you're only going to use it for one or two things. But like, and it's so common to get as well. Although I remember in my first playthrough, I like I couldn't find any. Um, I guess since our luck is bad, probably the best thing for us to do... Uh, the best thing for us to do probably actually is to go around and do some gifting. But, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm going to just take, like, the majority of stuff that I have for everyone and try and gift as many people as I see. Okay, that iron's done. That's fine. I will take that and I'll get another one. I would like, actually, to hang around until this iron is finished. Because then we can have enough stuff to upgrade our tools. Um, some gold there. Some clay. I know I've got, like, clay in different areas, but I don't care. Okay, get rid of those, because we don't need those for anything. And let's do a little bit of gifting. Um, take two of those. Two of those. That for Linus. That for Vincent, if we see him. Pam. And Sebastian. Um, Marnie, uh, take some flowers, uh, the spangle, oh, the tulip, I didn't realize we still had tulips, I thought we ran out, uh, spangle for Caroline, although do I have one gold star on its own, no I don't, one for Haley, and a poppy for Penny, we don't have very much high quality poppies, but it's okay, um, and any flowers in here, sweet peas, I guess they'll do, alright, let's go see who we can find, um, so the majority of people I'm assuming, will be around the middle of town. Um, I know Alex, for example, doesn't work at the, the ice cream stand today, so Haley's not going to be uh, be with him. So let's head into... Uh, oh, there goes Leah? Yeah, Leah. Let's head into Haley and Emily's house and see what's going on. 
Oh, we got a cutscene. Okay, so Emily's sleeping. Okay. This is different. Was that the cutscene? What? What on earth is this? Oh, are we seeing Emily's dream? M Muiwa. Moiwa. Okay. Moiwa. Is she meditating? She must be meditating, but she's also hovering. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Where did I come from? Where am I? What is this nonsense? Why are you here? What the? What has Emily been smoking? That reminded me of something. Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds a wonderful secret. Now I know why you're here. It's a sign. Ha ha ha. Really? What is up with these trees? Oh, and I disappeared. Um, okay. This is very bizarre. This is very bizarre indeed. <laughs> Why is she... That is so strange. Dazza, there's something special about Dazza. Our destinies will intersect. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi Emily. Nice of you to wake up. Um, have a sweet pea. Um, yeah, feeling positive energy, sure. Positive energy. That's, that's what I would call it. No, I don't want to eat it. Oh, well, at least we know we can get into Haley's room now if she's ever here. She's actually got a back door here. Can we go in there? It's locked. No, we can't. Okay, so Haley wasn't where I thought she'd be. Man, that was, that was something else. Oh, actually, this looks like another cutscene. Upon exiting, it's Emily again. Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. Got two Emily cutscenes in a row. And some parrots. Are they parrots? Are they gonna poop? Please poop. That'd be funny. No? She's scared of the birds or something? My friends, what? <laughs> this is so bizarre, like... And another one. It flew into the no window! No! No, oh no, you poor thing! What? Oh, your wing's broken. Oh no. The poor bird. Oh, you're a bit different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. You can definitely say that. Do you have weird dreams as well? Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be alright. Emily took the injured parrot into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give a bird a name. Okay, a token of respect, huh? So wait, if I go back in there, there'll be a parrot in here? Right? I can, I can get in here, so... There is! Oh, oh that's adorable! She's got a little parrot. Alright, now let's head out. And see if we trigger any more stinking cutscenes, because this is like cutscene galore right now. No more cutscenes. Alright, what was I going to do? <laughs> I was going to gift everyone, wasn't I? Let's go find Caroline. Oh, there's Evelyn. Oh, we do actually have a tulip for her, so... You know what? There you go. Absolutely marvellous. Yes, I know. Um, um, you need a strawberry for Ab... Uh, for, hmm, okay. I'll, I'll accept that, so I'll just say yes. I did spot Lewis over here. You're welcome. So, one of these strawberries was going to be for Maru or Demetrius, but... You know what? No, you're not going anywhere until I give you... A summer spa... Oh, I gave you the wrong one! What did I give you? Oh, you know what? Have a summer spaniel. <laughs> uh, hopefully Abigail is back here so that we can give her the strawberry. Uh, she is not. That's a shame. Oh, is she in the kitchen? Don't want to miss her. No, she's not here either. Um, okay, so... Uh, I've got a poppy for Penny. Got more sweet peas for just general gifts. You know what? I might as well just give the, the sweet pea to Pierre. Very kind of you. You're welcome. And I'm going to see if I can find someone else. Okay, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm taking my iron and I'm going to upgrade my hoe. 
Um, also, I did just pass Jody in town, and I know she likes pancakes, so I'm going to take the pancakes. I can definitely get to Clint before 4 p.m. because of the minecarts, so this is going to be good. And yeah, we're going to get an upgraded hoe. That will definitely help us out if we, for say, example, want to go into the mines and hoe up some, some ground. I think that would help. Okay, uh, upgrade tools. Iridium pickaxe, I wish. Um, yeah, steel hoe. There we go. Okay, so that's going to take a couple days. And that'll be ready for the new season as well. Ooh, you guys are right here. Oh, I wish. You know what? Oh, no, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna save the uh, the sunflower for Haley because it's definitely worth getting extra points uh, of friendship by giving people presents that you actually have. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna go to Jody, but Maru was right here. There you go, strawberry. I know, right? They're spectacular. Um, Emily, I wish I gave you something that you actually liked, but oh well. Oh yeah, there's the pancake. Jody, there you go. Yep, that's your favourite. I know. Um, where can I find Abigail? Perhaps north up here? Um, she might be by the river. She also might be across the river. Uh, it's also worth going to Jojo Mart and seeing if I can find Shane, because obviously we've got Pepper Poppers. That'll help. Okay, see if I can find Abigail up here, although I don't think I will. Oh, I tell a lie. She's right here. Uh, she wanted a strawberry, didn't she? Yep, brought me the item. Here's your payment, as promised. Perfect. Here's your reward. Don't say anything to my dad. Yeah, so I was gonna give that to Demetrius, but eh, fine, whatever. It's fine. Let's grab this grape so we can give it to Vincent. Um, and see if Linus is up here. Yes, he is. I have a Sprungion. <laughs> I don't know why, but me and my girlfriend call them Sprungions, because this, this sounds like spring onions, I guess. Um, okay, so we've got something for Vincent, because we've got the grapes. We've got the, the the parsnip for Pam. There goes Demetrius as well, just came out of his door. I think Shane is now finishing work at Jojo Mart. Oh, who's that? It's Penny. Okay. Glad I spotted you. I have a poppy. I know you do. Okay, and now let's see if we can't intercept Shane. I could have given Sebastian the frozen tear, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, okay, let's go over this way. Oh, there's Shane. Okay, there you go. I just know it's your favorite, buddy. Don't worry. Okay, um... Maru is still there. I think Vincent may be at home. Which is a shame, because it's a lovely sunny Saturday, you know? Uh, there goes Haley back home. I think, actually, if we go into her house, we probably trigger an event. Uh, Vincent doesn't seem to be here. Okay, you know what? Let's see if we do actually trigger an event in uh, with Haley. Uh, because we haven't seen anything from Haley yet, and I'm pretty certain if she's home. Oh, never mind. Nothing. Okay. Um, who was I going to go visit? <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, I could visit Marnie. Um, I was looking for Vincent. He might be at the playground, although it is pretty late now. So he'll, he'll head home eventually, won't he? There's Demetrius. Okay, no, they're not up here. They could have been in the, um, in the museum, but oh well. Uh, I'll, I will drop by the saloon just because uh, Pam is going to be there and I've got like one of our last parsnips for her. So definitely going to drop by there. She's a heavy drinker. 7pm. Wow, it's late. Emily's here, Shane's here. Alright, Pam, there you go. Hey, this is really something. Thanks, kid. You are welcome. Sebastian and the crew, are they in here? No, not yet. Okay. Um, I want to make sure that I get my relationship up with Marnie somewhat soon, uh, mainly because of the summer festival. Well, not the summer festival. Um, autumn. Fall. Fall festival. That's the word. Uh, so, if I see her, I shall give her a diamond. Didn't I get a crystallarium from something? No. Okay, never mind. Um, oh well, that was a decent gifting trip. I need to remember to take stuff to, to the wizard man, like... Oh, wait, I remember whose birthday it is today. I remember checking the calendar after the last episode to see whose birthday it was, and I just remembered. Uh, don't want to miss this, actually, because... Actually, I don't even know if it counts. Um, oh, we got one honey there. That's good. I don't even know if it counts yet, and I'll, I'll tell you why when we get there, because it's obviously... Oh, what we got? Strawberry jelly. Our last ever strawberry jelly. That can go in there. Uh, now, what we could do is we can add some stuff into there, but I'm not quite sure what. Maybe just, like, some normal quality peppers. Maybe we just pickle some peppers. Peter Piper picked a peckled pickled pepper, but the pe... 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 I don't actually know. 
It's a tongue twister. I don't know. Do you guys have that tongue twister in America? Peter Piper? Okay, go to mines. And let's give this diamond to the dwarf. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ah, it's, yeah, it's his birthday today. I don't think that actually counts. Oh, it doesn't. Dang it. Unless I missed his birthday. I will actually double check that at the store because I may have missed his birthday. No, it is his birthday today, so I was right. Um, you, you can't actually raise your relationship with him until uh, you can talk with him, and we don't have that ability yet. Um, I am going to actually take a gift to the wizard, just because I always forget him, and I feel like I should start trying to raise my relationship with him as well. Uh, it might be worth it, so I'm just, I'm just going to try it. First of all, I need to put everything back that I did have. I just wasted a diamond on that tool. Please be open. I know you open late, but do you stay open? 11 p.m. We were 20 minutes late. Dang it, and I got a void spirit for you and everything. Ugh. Well, I guess while we're here, we may as well chop down the hardwood in um, the secret woods here. So, uh, is at least, you know, we're not missing out on stuff, I guess. Wow, it's really bright here at night time. Well, cutting it a little bit fine today, but uh, we're definitely going to get to bed in time. <laughs> Okay, put the hardwood away, because we got all of that. Put away the void spirit, which the wizard clearly did not want. Whatever. And uh, let's put the fiddlehead ferns in that I picked up. Two gold star ones. Actually, I think I remember what I needed the fiddlehead ferns for. Didn't I need to sell one? Um, yeah, it's not there. Okay, that's what I forgot. I knew that I needed to have two on me at some point, and then, um, and then keep the rest for... Oh, wow, we're really cutting it fine. You love me. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I knew we needed to have two for something. And it was, um, obviously... Oh, wait, I just heard the badunk again. Badunk, badunk. We got a lot of money. Wow, 11,000. Okay. It's because of the, the honey, the jelly. Uh, the fiddlehead ferns actually sell for quite a bit. Radishes, cheese. It's the, str it's the blueberries again. <laughs> I'm going to miss the blueberries. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all in the next one. Oh, okay. Rainbow shells were three seven five, and yeah. See you then. Bye bye.